side. Don't grab that pole right on the port side. It'll pull alongside. Neutral. We got gotcha. you. Okay. Nope, nope, nope. He's in the boat. Nope. Thank you. Yep. <laughs> He's a professional. He's good at it. <laughs> Alright, semi. We'll do it for one day. How are you guys doing? Alright, so. Yeah, we'll let it set for just a second. We're still. You have a, a cleat or anything like that on the back? Yeah, so there's one on the front. Okay. On the bow and then on the side. Let's go. Yeah, I got a rope. That'll hold that there. Y'all doing tonight? Good. Y'all just getting started? No, we just finished up. Yeah. We're in the trying to get some fish to pull up. How'd that play out? We got one yeah, red bumper. It was man. small. We threw it back. Yeah. Where do y'all want to put the fillets? What? Where do y'all want to put the fillets? We didn't even have any fillet on the night? No, we didn't have it. We caught one. That would be, I think, Mitchell will be fine. Do you want to try this nah, one? Nah, we'll just do one by one. Yeah, that's all right. Sorry, right, Rebecca. All right, Captain. So, you know why we might be stopping you tonight? Uh, actually, yeah. I do not. Okay, so you actually don't have a stern light right now. I don't know if it's off or if it's not up there, but you don't have one. Oh, shit. It's right here, but it, it must have gone out. Gotcha. It's right here, but... Yeah, shit, it must have gone out. Okay. Well, yeah, it's definitely reason to get pulled over. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright, do you have your registration for the boat? Yes, ma'am. How long did you guys go out for today? Oh, we went out for a good three hours. Three hours? Gotcha. Thank you. And are you, you're not the registered owner of the boat, correct? No. Okay, do you have your ID on you? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Go ahead and grab that for me just because... All it's going to take is one weight, and that's going to be on the bottom. <laughs> I got Thanks, it. Grab for me. Take it on. Oh, good job. All right, take a look at that. Yep. All right, and just your ID, please. Your actual ID. Oh, yeah. There you go. Thank you. Eighty three forty three, ten fifty a vessel. Alright, and anything in these two hatches? Right here. Uh, this life jackets, I can open up if you want to. Half four. This life jackets, life jackets. Who's 21 on the boat, guys? Who's 21? Nobody's 20? Who's how old are you guys? Uh, 20. I just turned 20. I just turned 20. Okay, how are you, buddy? 18. Who's uh, been drinking the twisted juice? I don't know. You had the twisted? I had a couple. I had two. You had two? I had two, yes, sir. Alright. Alright, you guys know not 21. Yeah, I know. We were just trying to have a little. It was just my birthday. Well, if you yeah. look at my license, it was June 29th. It was just my birthday, so we were just out doing a little fishing. Okay. Have a good little time. Hey, if you're bored, you're Okay. Yeah. Mike 400-630-00. Correction. Mike four hundred six three zero zero four two two nine zero.
Let's not set them up there because you're going to make them go in the water, okay? Just sorry, put them. Sorry. Yeah, it's all right. We just don't want to pollute. Yeah, I'm just going to have you help you step over. All right, I'm going to have you come up to the bow with me. All right, you see that little seat there? It's a little... So we'll just sit there for you, okay? All right, how much did you drink today? I had about a total of three twisted teas. Three twisted teas? All right, how long have you been out today? Three hours. About, no, I need it, probably. Thank you. All right, so about three hours? May or may not. Probably won't. I don't think it's going to move, but it'll work. Yep. All right. Can I hold you back? Thank you. Probably won't get down, right? Mine's, yeah, I was say mine's getting a little too deep. Can you hold your hat for you, buddy? What? You saw the officer's there So you're out just fishing offshore all day? Yes, man. We were offshore fishing. Okay. Trying to get some fish, and we actually had no luck. We had a 12 inch group, but we threw it back. Okay. Gotcha. And we were just coming in, coming back to my house, back to the riches. Okay. And we were just going to sleep there for the night. Okay. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask you to do some tasks for me. Okay, like, and they just say we don't want to put you back on the water when you can get killed. Okay, so I'm going to ask you to submit to some voluntary tasks, okay? okay. I've actually edited the SFST because they aren't very interesting. But the one thing I will note is, I believe that he did well enough with the SFST that it wouldn't be enough evidence to prove the man is too impaired to operate. Which is why the officer stops halfway through and starts whispering to the other officer that they can more likely get him to blow over a 0.2. Which is all they would need to charge him with underage drinking. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, 100%. Uh, four. Uh, maybe five, yeah. Maybe wrong, don't know, but. Portable breath test, okay? Because you're under 21 years of age, do you know what the legal threshold for um, operating a vessel is? Okay, it's 0 0.02, unlike uh, a 21-year-old person, 0 0.08, okay? As a person under 21 years of age, you're able to provide a breath sample into this, okay? So what I'm going to ask you to do is I'm going to ask you to take a deep breath. I'm going to ask you to make a complete seal with your lips around the mouthpiece, and I'm going to ask you to basically provide a breath sample as long as you can, or as hard as you can, okay? All right, so blow, 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 blow. Keep blowing, 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 keep blowing. Okay, so you're a point oh five seven. Okay, so you are going to be over the point oh two. Okay, so you are going to be cited tonight. It's going to be an O two violation. It is a and it is an administrative penalty. Okay which means that you don't go to jail tonight, okay? It's an administrative penalty that's going to have some implications with it, all right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have you hang tight for a second. I'm going to type that up. People will get killed doing the stuff that you guys are doing, all right? I know that it seems like you're just out having a good time and stuff, but people get killed every day out here, especially on holiday weekends. It's absolute ape out here. You guys know that, all right? So it's just not worth it. Especially those twisted teeth. I, I don't know why I see people get absolutely trashed on those things faster than anything else. Those things will catch up with you quick. Hey, so All right. You, how many do you have? Three? Two or three, you say? <laughs> so you're, you're, you're a point of six, right? So you're three quarters away to being legally under the influence. So one, if you had one more of those, you would have shown indicators when she was doing the field sobriety. Because that's, that's why we went this route, because we weren't seeing the indicators. To beat with your over point eight. Well, one more alcoholic beverage, you'd have been guaranteed that would probably put you 0.03 higher. You're probably like a 0.85. 
we picked up on that, and you'd be going to jail. So it'd be not only a point of two violation, which is administrative, like she said, it'd be a misdemeanor. It's the same as a D, very similar to a D. Line. It follows you your you whole jail, life. You do a so bunch of crazy does stuff. this follow me? This is an administrative penalty, okay? So it's not a criminal record, okay? You're probably going to have to do some community service for it. You're going to have to go talk to a judge. So you, that's something that you're going to talk to the judge at court about, but it's like I said, it's not criminal, so it's not something you're going to get criminally expunged. Does that make sense? Because it's an administrative violation. Does that make sense? Yes, ma'am. Okay. I'm going to Marine Technician School up in Orlando. I'm trying to bring a boat tech for boats. I love boats. Then, then be glad you're not going to jail for BUI because that would really embarrass I just don't you. want to affect my job. Yep. Okay. I think, so I know it's not worth it. Nick, I think you should just calm down. Over time. I'm really freaked out. It's like I just put in 14 months of school. I feel like it's just going to affect my whole job. Well, dude, that's hard to tell you. If it was a BUI, it would be a different kind of thing. Yep. 100%. Do you both have your ID on you? Okay. At his house, so 